Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about Unit 2, Box and Reading. Okay, as we know, first of all, we shall check some new vocabulary. For example, we have here detective stories. Detective stories include detective stories, a cause of police, include Yashmal, or Yathadaman, Century, Century, Karn Min Zaman. Uh, hundred years conversation conversation muhadasa discussion discussion munakasha fairs fairs farana carer carer muqaddim raya lake lake buhaira tremble tremble yartash aw yahtaz Antarctic, Antarctic, a Karakudbiya. Description, description, wasf. Mystery, mystery, Lugz aw sir ghamad. Tour guide, tour guide, Murshid siyahi. Review, review, Nagd aw makal nagdi. And realize, realize, yudrik. Now we have we have here uh, some definitions for the previous words, uh, maybe our new words, like the first one, title, title. Title means the name given to a book, play, etc. The name given to a book or a play. The second definition. review it means writing which gives your opinion about a book or a film writing which gives your opinion to say your opinion about a book or a film the next one adventure 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 means something unusual exciting or maybe dangerous something unusual exciting or maybe dangerous the next one character 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 is a person in a book play film and so on so it is a person in a book play film etc weak weak it means of course not strong Weak, not strong. Summary. Summary to some something means text that gives the most important information about something. Text gives m the most important information about something. Tremble. Tremble. Shake a little when you are afraid, worried, or excited. To shake a little when you are afraid, worried, or excited. Novel. Not a story. Novel. Novel means a long story. Novel Ruaya. A long story that is written. Now, let's check some expressions and prepositions the first one a man with the light a man with the light رجل يحمل مصباح a man with the light the second one make friends make friends you can win صدقات careful with careful with حريص على he's careful with, with his money حريص على uh, فلوسه أو ماله write down write down يسجل أو يدون please write down your name for example, the next one, move abroad, move abroad to move overseas, give opinion, give opinion as we said in uh, the definition or the word review, to give your opinion about something. <coughs> uh, 
Then we have here some notes, the general notes of this. The first one, have interest or be, verb to be interested. How can we deal with these, uh, these notes here, have interest or be interested? If you uh, have, uh, if you use have interest or be interested, they are followed by the preposition and then noun or adjourant. Adjourant, the lower verb ing. So, for example, people have less interest, have less interest in historical stories, in plus noun. The second example, tourists are, verb to be, are interested in eating gerund or verb ing, eating Egyptian dish, dishes. Okay, what about using the first example, but... Uh, uh, if you have this sentence in a rewrite exercise and you have in the brackets, for example, uh, be interested or are interested, so it will be people are interested in historical stories, for example. What about the second one? What if we, we want to use have interest? So it will be tourists have interest more interest or less interest in eating Egyptian dishes. The second one, during, during plus now. For example, students have less sleep or little sleep during school time. Number three, a book with fewer pages or many pages because the word pages is a countable one. So we can use here fewer or many pages. For example, I want a book with fewer pages than a detective. A detective one, of course. Wait for. Wait for. For example, I waited 30 seconds for a bus <clears throat> last week. I waited for a bus. Number five, spent. It is an important point, spent. Okay. We have two forms here. If you use the verb spend with the word uh, time or uh, with time in general or money, how can we deal with the, this verb? If you have spent plus time, so you will use here a gerund. Or if you have spent plus money, so you will put the preposition on then a noun or a gerund. Okay? Let's check the example. The first one. What is the least time? We have here the least time. You have spent, this is the verb here, waiting, this is the gerund, for a bus. So, what is the least time you have spent waiting for a bus? The second example. I spent 30,000 pounds on buying clothes. I put buying in practice because you can use it or not. You can use, we said here, a noun or a gerund or verb ing. So I spent, this is the verb here, 3,000 pounds on the preposition buying clothes or on clothes. Number six, take a boat trip. Take a boat trip, we said it uh, in the previous unit, in unit number one. So we have here an example, we took a boat trip last week. We took a boat trip last week and we said that we can use the verb go. We went on a boat trip last week. Number seven. Take subject time to infinitive. This form here uh, means in Arabic yastarik. Take plus subject time to infinitive. For example, this book will take you the least amount of time. Hayastarik akal waqt will take you the least amount of time to read. Number eight, we have three words. History, historical, historian. Okay, the first one, history. For example, my favorite subject is history. Tarikh, madit et tarikh. The second one, historical. There are lots of historical stories here. Lots of historical stories, kusas tarikhi. And the third one, a famous historian has written a book about 
ancient Egypt? Yes. A famous historian has written a book about ancient ancient Egypt. Historian means مؤرخ. Number nine. Title. We said this word in definition. You remember? Okay, for example, what is the title of this book? Number 10, address. For example, my address is 20 Tagnida Street. Okay, what is the difference between title and address? We said it before in English. Title and address in Arabic means and when. But title for a book, a play, and so on. And address uh, for places. Let me make it. Number 11, we have two words here, another and other. The first one, another, uh, plus singular noun. Another singular noun. For example, how can he stay warm? Stay warm for another night in the desert. But the other word, the word other, plus plural. For example, I can see other boys, okay? We have here a plural noun, other boys in class. Number 12, feel plus adjective. For example, Fadi felt tired and weak, Fadi felt hungry, Fadi felt uh, happy, and so on. Number 13, quite adjective, quite in Arabic, ila haddin ma aw nawan ma. So the example here, I feel quite happy. Quite happy, quite hungry. Number 14. The word last. We can deal with this word as an adjective or a verb. Let's check the examples. The first one, I ate the last piece of cake. The last piece of cake, so here, last is an adjective. But in the second example, the meeting lasted four to hours so it is a verb uh, the meeting lasted for two hours number 15 we have here the verb make make object plus infinitive or adjective for example it made me feel excited made okay the object then infinitive it made me feel excited. Or, this news made me happy. Made, me, this is the object, and the adjective happy. Then we have here the structures, or the grammar. The grammar here in this unit is about comparatives and superlatives using comparatives and superlatives for comparison okay first of all we should remember something we should remember the countable nouns and uncountable nouns the countable nouns nouns which have uh, now uh, sorry words which have a singular form or plural form for example we have nouns uh, we can make it uh, plural with adding the letter S, for, exam uh, for example, a car, it will be cars, a chair, it will be chairs, and we have nouns which end uh, ending in CH, SH, O, S, X, for example, a bus, it will be buses, a tomato, it will be tomatoes. Nouns which uh, ending in consonant, then uh, letter Y, so we will put here I, E, S instead of the Y. For example, a factory, it will be factories. A library, it will be libraries. Then we have irregular plurals, like a man, men, a child, children, a woman, women, a tooth, teeth, a mouse, mice, and an ox, it will be oxen. What about the uncountable nouns? Uncountable nouns 
are uh, words or nouns which uh, has just a singular form. For example, oil, juice, time, interest, sleep, bread, news, information, money, equipment, water, and milk. Now, let's talk about the comparative and superlative. We said that we have countable nouns and uncountable nouns, okay? With countable nouns, we can use these words here, few, fewer than in the comparative, and the fewest for superlative. And with uncountable nouns, we can use little, less than with the comparative, and the least for the superlative. Let's check the first word few. For example, there are few detective stories. This is countable, okay? Countable nouns. So we used here few, few detective stories. The second example, few students read magazines. What about the second word, little, with uncountable nouns? For example, there is little water. Water is uncountable, so we use here little. There is little water in the lake. Another example, I have little time to read this year. Then, let's talk about the comparative. With countable nouns, we'll use fewer than. For example, I have got fewer books than you. Or, you have got fewer books than me. With uncountable nouns, we'll use less than. For example, you have got less meat than I have. Or, people have less interest in historical stories. We said that example before. Then, the superlative. With countable nouns, we'll use the fewest. For example, class 2 had the fewest students. أقل عدد من الطلاب. Or this book has the fewest number of pages. Or we can say this example: this book has the least number of pages. Okay. And the last one with uh, count uncountable nouns with the superlative. For example, the bottle has the least water. The least water. Or, this example here, this book will take you the least amount of time to read. This book will take you the least amount of time to read. Thank you very much. This is uh, part one, unit two, books and reading. Thank you very much.